I'm learning to fly, so I have something to put on my Tinder profile. <laughs> Probably can't say that, can we? <laughs> So I've just been living the last year over in New York, had nothing to do there, locked down, so did a couple lessons in a little Cessna, fell in love with it, so the day I landed I called up GoFly and started to get some lessons in. I'm uh, doing my turning lesson, my last lesson was sending and descending, looking forward to today, definitely looking forward to it, it'll be a lot of fun. Lot to learn still, a lot of acronyms to learn, and, uh, but I'm looking forward to jumping up into the plane. took Eddie up for a turning lesson today. He did very well actually. He took to the gentle turns um, very nicely. He was very accurate. Um, he didn't actually struggle with that at all. Where it did challenging was steep turns. So anywhere up to a medium level to a 60 degree bank angle. He was quite amazed at what uh, one and a half to two G felt like, uh, especially maintaining a steep turn and maintaining level at the same time. Going a right, center, left, eyes out front. Move the yep. control column to the left, or to the right, the right. Doesn't Matter. You can do this to the right. A little bit of right rudder there. Okay, now feed that back pressure in. Feed it in, feed it in. Nice. Good work. Build the G's. I'm having a Woo. cheesy day. And that was very cheesy. Okay, okay. <laughs> Moving left. That was forward. easy. You've used that one before, haven't you? No, that was the first time I used it was quite interesting to see how he handled the workload where everything had to be tied up together, multitasking. Where he found it really, really challenging is uh, marrying up the climbing and descending turns um, all together. So power, attitude, trim, and then also making sure that he's, he's looking out, looking after the engine, temperatures and pressures in a climb, not turning too steeply, and just marrying it every, everything together. But ultimately, he felt like he got a lot out of it and um, blew his mind as to how the aircraft performed as well, how easy it can be, but uh, also challenging to do it with the correct procedure. Two seven zero is what we want. What about two six five roll out? Out now. Go now. Okay, oh, almost nailed it. Two seven one, two seven two, that wasn't too bad. I think the most challenging thing about today was putting it all together. So ascending, descending's fine, turning's fine, but then putting it all together into one is, is where it starts to get a little bit challenging. This is my first time flying out of the Caloundra Airport, um, seeing new scenery, beautiful uh, Bravi Island and some nice beaches. It was good to see something different today. Yeah, so I did a couple lessons over in San Francisco uh, in a little Cessna 172. Uh, good fun, but since being over here and jumping in the little sling aircraft, it's, it's a completely different beast. It's so much fun, it's lower to the ground. Um, you know, they take off a lot quicker, they're a lot more manoeuvrable, uh, a lot of fun. You're not even struggling with anything. I'm like, this is good. <laughs> this is really yeah, good. Throw me in the deep end, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll find something to struggle, struggle with. I'm I'll, sure. uh, I'll, I'll find something at some stage. I'm, I'm sure Don't tell me to land, I'll, I'll struggle with that. that. Alright, heck, I'll talk you through it, you'll be fine. <laughs> So Annie is uh, going to be going to stalls next, so we did cheek and sneak in a cheeky little stall just to give him a, um, a bit of a look-see as to how that feels. We find that doing a stall uh, during the turning lesson before the actual stalling lesson really helps him prepare for it mentally and sometimes emotionally. And uh, that's actually quite an important lesson to know the stall characteristics because uh, you certainly wouldn't want to stall an aircraft in the circuit. So instinctively knowing how that aircraft operates in that stall is very, very important. Yes, I've been told next lesson is uh, stalls, so um, definitely no hangover before that, before that lesson. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. If you would like to see more aviation videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would like to watch some of our online lessons, visit gofly.online. If you would like to learn to fly, visit www.goflyaviation.com.au.